Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I. <coughs> Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our lesson number 59. Day 59. I want to start out by talking about the difference between two words. Two words which many a times I have seen being used as if they were exact synonyms, but they are not exact synonyms. There's a difference of nuance. There's a matter of nuance. And for those of you who still do not know what nuance means, nuance is a minute, subtle differences in the meanings of the words. Uh, subtle differences that you will find. Uh, I covered this thing on day number one, I believe it was. Day one or two. I know it's in the first five days. So just type in Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day one and it's there. Uh, nuance means minute to subtle differences in the meanings of the words. And that's what I want to talk about uh, between the two words here. The words are Apocryphal and spurious. We'll first talk about apocryphal and then we'll talk about spurious. These two words they mean pretty much the same thing, but they are not exact same word. There's a difference. There's a difference between the two words, and the difference lies in their nuances. Let's first talk about apocryphal. Oh. Park, bro, full. Apocryphal. Something is described as, uh, as being apocryphal if something is off, if something that is off. Questionable. Authenticity. If you doubt whether or not something is true, that something is described as apocryphal. Something that looks like looks like true, but is in fact false. Something, something, something that looks, I should not have Something that looks like true, but is in fact false. Something that looks like genuine, but is in fact bogus. But the point here is that at least it looks like a genuine thing, it, at least it looks like a real thing. But in reality, it is not. But at least it looks like it gives it the appearance. It gives it the appearance of being the true thing, but it is not. Such a thing is called apocryphal. Something that is doubtful. Something that is of doubtful origin or. dubious origin. How does that word come how does this word compare how does this word compare to spurious? When you talk about spurious is spew 
Yes. When we talk about spurious, in the case if something is described as spurious, then there is no doubt. We know it is false. We know it is bogus. There is no, there is no doubt about it. There is no question about it. There is no, there is no debate about it. It is false. Everybody knows it's, it's forgery. It's counter. It's a counterfeit. Something that is false. Something that is false. There is no doubt about it. Something that we know is forgery. Something that is bogus. Something that is counterfeit. There is no doubt about it. And that's the, that is the difference between spurious and apocryphal. And many a times I have seen people use the word apocryphal where they mean to say spurious and vice versa. They use the word spurious where from the context that you can from the context you can tell that what they're trying to say is it is of questionable origin. But if it's of questionable origin then it's not spurious. It is too strong a word in that context. It is not spurious in that context. If something is of course questionable origin you do not for, know for a fact that it is not real we do not know for a fact that it's not real you think that it's not real in that case the proper word to use is apocryphal not spurious I know I know those are the kind of things that keep me awake at night but here here we are it's out of the system and I feel better let's move on to the next two words that we want to learn which two, the next two words have nothing to do with what we just did here completely unrelated words so that's it let me put a demarcation here so we can there we go one more time the word apocryphal means something of doubtful origin something of doubtful origin there we go right here something that is of doubtful origin and spurious on the other hand is just out and out lie the, in a colloquial sense, we would say for those of you who do not know what I just did here the abbreviation there C-O-L-L -L means colloquial uh, I'm going to find this thing in my list here and give you the proper meaning of the word the proper demo. I do not have it written down here strange Let's, let's look up the spelling here properly. C O L L. Notice how I become silent as soon as I get to the part where I do not know what I'm talking about. There you go. C O L L O Q U I A. Colloquial. It's pronounced colloquial we'll learn this word in the future which simply means informal speech informal speech slang if you will informal speech colloquial I don't know why I have to put a quotation around it so this is this is last but I just wrote there was over the colloquial uh, in colloquial terms something spurious is just out and out lie that's how we say it out and out lie there is no doubt about it it's just it's just false everybody knows it it's fake if somebody gives you a hundred dollar bill actually I do not know whose picture is supposed to be on the hundred dollar bill but I know that it's not going it's not supposed to be the picture of uh, Bozo the Clown so if somebody gives you a hundred dollar hundred dollar US hundred US hundred dollar bill with the picture of Bozo the Clown well, it's spurious. If it's not apocryphal. It doesn't look like real. Uh, if something looks like real, you'll begin to wonder: Is it real or is it not? Is it a real, real hundred dollar bill? Well, it's got a picture of um, of the I forget the name of the clown. I should just say uh, Bozo the clown. Well, then it's spurious. It's not apocryphal. It's, it's out and out lie. It's false. It's bogus. It's counterfeit. It's not real. In that context, you would not describe that thing as apocryphal. You would describe it as spurious. It's bogus. It's counterfeit. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. 
on day number 50 with oh actually I'm not done today am I oh jeez let's learn, learn let's learn a couple of more words I need to raise everything I was about to close the shop and I was taking my sweet time I'm going at a very leisurely pace and I didn't realize that I'm not done yet Oh, I shouldn't have raised that part. I wanted to put it on my list there later on. Colloquial. The next uh, next word that you want to learn is decree. This word and the following word that we're going to learn are probably two simple words. This this word is probably a too simple a word for a native speaker. Decree is a straightforward word, which simply means a royal command. A royal command. A royal order. A royal proclamation. Um, authoritative, authoritative order having the force of law. A monarch or a, or a government doesn't even have to be a king, doesn't have to be a royal royal thing. It could be a regular government if they issue some order, and all the subjects, all the people in the in, in the country have to follow this thing. Such an order is called a decree. But usually, a decree uh, are are issued by a, by a, a, a royal, a monarch. Reminds me of a Woody Allen movie. I don't remember the name of it, but those of you who know Woody Allen, there is one movie where there is this crazy dictator in South America and he issues a decree uh, something to the effect that starting from tomorrow Tuesday will be called Monday so Tuesdays became Monday for some strange reason that is the decree and everybody in the country has to go around calling Tuesdays Monday and then Mondays became Tuesday he was an insane dictator such a thing is called a decree a royal command uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be a royal command, it could be a command by a, by a dictator, it could be any authority, an authoritative order, any authority, an authoritative order having the force of law. If it is enforceable by law, because it becomes a law when, you, when, uh, when, when, when the decree is uh, issued, then it's authoritative order having the force of law. A synonym, a synonym of a decree would be E an edict, which of course is also noun because this was a noun. An edict. An edict is what it is. It's a formal proclamation, a formal command issued by a governing body. Issued by a governing body having a force of law. An edict or a decree. They are both synonyms. That's it. We're done for today. I will see you. I will see you tomorrow. I'm trying to decide here if I want to add something to it. A formal command issued by a governing body and having a force of law. So I'm not going to read out the whole thing. It's basically the same as before. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 60 with some more words. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring over the internet via Skype or in person, you go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.